not make me wait for so long so long what's going on guys um we're gonna go ahead and get into this part six it's the f up love story this was highly recommended which is why i'm gonna go ahead and do it now um you already know what i do i go ahead and watch the video first and then i put my two cent in so therefore we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video all right y'all this is part six i'm celeste i'm the best friend and i'm just telling y'all my side of the story he'll be home in the morning ma I get here right now and before you get to screaming i'll be hitting the climb i was light up on his chest girl we just had sex you was blowing them up i couldn't get no rest i said my name is celeste nice to meet you girlfriend i know you wifey and all but he is seen with six i hung up the phone feeling plenty of regret so him you gotta get me home hurry to pack my shit you like what's wrong calm down girl you bugging this shit i said my man is home at nine and it's 8 56 but girl it's more to the story i got home in a hurry but see my nigga wasn't there and so i start to get worried he had stopped me said girl this ain't about you said listen you my bitch so you gotta know the whole truth i'm sending for my nigga he ignoring all my phone calls sweating a nigga who riding around in my damn car he pulls up to the crib smelling like a homie bitch said in the morning need the car cause he gotta work his shit tears falling down my face but i don't even want to say shit i knew that i was cheating too and maybe this was payback so the sunrise and he goes about his day says sis come pick me up and she said i'm on my way we rode around for a minute pulled up to my nigga business but my car wasn't there which is really suspicious we drove down a couple blocks he was parked by some bitch house got a 40 on my purse but my sister won't let me out i get the scream and started shaking yelling why he always do this it's like every day i'm into it with some new bitch my sister trying to lift me up like girl let that nigga hold in these niggas roll past shot and dead that nigga go and these shots start busting so we dodging and ducking i hear somebody say he gone but i'm praying he wasn't i walked over to the car i seen the body was my cousin said bitch you mean to tell me it was family you was fucking got another car from you said you got your boyfriend going i'm trying to play it cool and calm you down but it's too much going on i go and grab my other phone i get to calling your nigga because i just need a glass of wine and the spark me a swisher he sent the test i come through i didn't know it was you kid you gotta believe me because i'm telling the truth i said i'll be there in five roads start to look familiar as i started to drive this ain't the same house i came over that night and when i stepped foot on the porch my best friend stared in my eyes like you dirty bitch why you want to hurt me bitch said this ain't what you think she said you did this shit on purpose bitch Okay, y'all, uh, so she said, I did, you got to believe me, Kia, I didn't know, bro, first of all, first of all, let me say that this time she did a lot better with her birth, but I know that this situation, like, they're not, you know, really, them two are not really going through this situation um, at the moment, but as the best friend i feel like she did know because one in your when, when you first was explaining to lakia you said that you seen her name tattoo on his chest and he told you he ain't know he ain't know lakia but lakia was tattooed on his chest but yeah so therefore you knew and it's like you already knew, but you continue to talk to this guy. You get what I'm saying? And if you're pregnant by him, it's no telling how long you guys had been kicking it. Because in the first one, it was stated that the best friend was carrying his seed. So you knew and you continue. So why play games? You know what I'm saying? You're both adults, so you might as well go ahead and tell the truth. Like, hey, but why knew? And I just didn't care. You know, my dude was shitting on me. So, I wanted to get back at him. So, I did the same thing. Just go ahead and be honest. Because if you keep telling lies, you're going to have to tell more lies to cover that lie. Then, eventually, you're going to forget your lies. And then, and your story is going to be all not adding up. So, it's best to just go ahead and tell the truth. Like, while you can. But, for her to say she didn't know, that's, that's bullcrap. Because if you really want to put all the pieces together you could just listen to part five because she pretty much told on herself that she knew and with the dude cheating i want I, i'm just if i'm wrong just let me know in the comments but was he was the boyfriend cheating with the best friend's cousin because that's what it sounds like 
because they were shooting at the car she walked up to the car and it was her cousin so was he cheating on her with her cousin that's what i need to understand because i think that's you know basically what she's saying and afterwards you know what i'm saying she just called uh lakia dude up because she really needed somebody she want to drink you know what i'm saying and smoke or whatever but when she pulled up she said that it was lakia at the door so i mean i really want to know what else she has to say i'm really really waiting on lakia to go ahead and say what she believes like i want to know if she gonna say that you're a lie and I know so go ahead and tell the truth or she's going to believe the best friend so this is where I'm trying to get to a point where first of all what are they gonna do with Lakia dude that's pretty much dying I want to know what's gonna um <clears throat> how she get pregnant so fast if they wasn't kicking it that long I need to know uh if like I said if Lakia gonna believe her or not I, I just it's just just a lot of gaps in between that I really need for you know it to be filled so I can get a better understanding of what's going on so I'm just really looking forward to this I know I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of parts like how R. Kelly did trapped in the closet <laughs> but I am very amazed of the story like I'm very very interested in it you know what I'm saying every time a part come out I definitely have to watch it and thank you guys for telling me that part six was out. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments though. Y'all did last time and man, I had a blast talking to y'all. So I'd like to do it again. So once again, ladies, y'all did a good job and continue to do the story. I, I just want to know, you know, and I'm pretty sure everyone else wants to know as well, which is why people continue to ask uh, you. Is part this going to come out? When this part going to come out? When that part going to come out? Because it is interesting. I ain't going to lie. But I ain't going to keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just let me know what y'all think about part six. You feel me? With that being said, we are out of here. And I hope you guys are having a blessed morning or blessed night. And we're just going to go ahead and continue. Let We're going to continue to let 2018 be nothing but success and positivity in our lives okay but i do got something in store for y'all that i think i'm going to start doing um i'm not it's going to be anonymous though but someone sent me an email and it's a story but it's not really a story it's really true and she wants an opinion and she wants me to post it and she wants to see what people say in the comments as far as what she needs to do. She doesn't want me to say her name though. And you know, I'm not going to. She wants me to continue to let her be anonymous. So that's going to be my next video. And she really wants advice. So when I talk about it, it's not about me. Okay? Let's get that clear. Not about me. So with that being said... Get ready for this next video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And also that bell button. Yo, I am tired. But we out of here, y'all. Be easy. Huh. Love yours. Love yours.